Hello friends and welcome to another vlog. This is going to be kind of a crazy vlog. I have a lot going on but also like not a lot going on so I feel like it's gonna be kind of all over the place. I'm currently in the middle of Sundial by Catriona Ward. I am like about halfway. I think I'm on page um what, what page is this uh yeah like 137 so I'm hoping to finish this in this vlog um I'm just gonna kind of like read a little bit and try to finish that I am in the mood for some manga I really 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 want to read some manga so I have some options in front of me of what I want to read um I don't really know what I'm feeling, but I have Blood on the Tracks Volume 7 and 8 because I'm a little bit behind on the series right now. Um, so I have these to catch up on. Um, yeah, Volume 6 left us on like kind of a cliffhanger. So I really want to get to these uh really soon so i just got this and i'm so excited it says it's a mysterious young woman slithers her way into the lives of unsuspecting people like the legendary multi-tailed serpent for which she is named orochi um i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm gonna have to look it up i feel like i'm wrong um but i also want to say it like it's spanish like orochi so i'm not really not really sure how to say this. Uh, we'll see. We'll look it up. I think this looks really cool. And now we have a guest. She is sitting in my lap while I'm talking. So, <laughs> yeah. I love you. Okay, and then my last option is honestly reading the entire series of Erased. Because I haven't read it yet. And I really, really want to. And I have all five volumes in my possession. So, I'm kind of like, why... Why not just read? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, why not just read? <laughs> She's mad. She doesn't like when I film. Um, also, I look a mess, but I want to read Erased, so I might read the entire series. So I'm not really sure what the vibe for this weekend is or what I kind of want to read. Also, my hair is doing a flippy thing that I don't really love. But anyways, um, I don't really know what the vibe is for reading what kind of manga I want to read. Maybe I'll read all of them. Maybe I'll read some of them. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. This is a very laid back chill vlog. But I will be finishing Sundial. Um, I'm very interested. This reminds me a lot of The Last House on the Street in the sense that it's very weird like I don't really know what's going on I'm not really sure if I'm understanding everything I feel like I'm missing something I feel like I'm not getting the full picture I'm not really sure um we'll see I understand I think what people are talking about with the animal cruelty um I unless I haven't gotten to it yet but I'm halfway through so I think I know what people are talking about um, so right now it's not like great. I really don't care for what's happening. I hope it doesn't get any worse than it is because I think I would be really upset. But um, otherwise I'm enjoying it. I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> um, but uh, she writes really engaging stories and I like her uh, writing style. So I'm interested to see what's happening. I like the creepy kid thing that's going on right now we'll see i i'm excited to finish it i hope i hope the ending's really good and like packs a punch but other than that i'll just keep you updated on what i pick to read i'm gonna film tiktoks today i'm gonna take instagram pictures um like normal and then tomorrow i'll be filming my youtube video my other youtube video not this one uh so yeah um i guess i will update you when things Happen. I'm also re-watching America's Next Top Model on Hulu. Um, this show is absolutely insane. By the way, I remember watching this when I was like, god, in middle school and in like high school and being like, oh my god, this show is the best and re-watching and I'm like, this show is so problematic. Dang, like it's so, so messed up. Um, yeah, look how messy the bed is right now with all these pillows and blankets and 
manga and books and stuff. I'm trying not to show you because it's honestly, like, horrifying. But, um, you know, real life. Also, my computer's, uh, dirty, so that's cool. But, um, yeah, I'm rewatching America's Next Top Model. I'm on season, what season is this? Season five, episode four. Uh, so I will be watching this while I read, um, Sundial. <laughs> so, yeah, um, fun times. Okay, so it's time to check in. I've been reading for like, I don't know, like an, like two hours, I think? No, probably more than two hours, because I think I started around... Wait, what time did I start? I don't actually remember. So I'm, I've been reading for like a few hours, um, and I am this far. I am 88 pages from the ending, and honestly, I don't, I don't know what this book is. <laughs> like, I really don't get it. This reminds me a lot of The Last House on Needless Street where I just felt really confused. I think I understand what's happening, but I also thought I understood what was happening in The Last House on Needless Street. So I can't tell if I'm on the right track or if this is gonna like shock me and like blow my mind but I'm hoping the ending is really good I'm kind of nervous about how this is gonna end because I feel like the ending is gonna either make or break this book honestly um I hope we get answers like really solid answers because I think I'll be really frustrated if we don't I wanted to update you on the animal cruelty so I think I read everything unless something's gonna pop out in the last like 80 pages I think I read everything about the animal cruelty and it is very much more like sciency like animal like testing kind of animal cruelty it's more like experimentations and um messing with brains and stuff like that um it's still really 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 uncomfortable and really like gross and icky and makes me feel like disgusted um so i wouldn't say it's better than like reading about an animal getting like beat up or brutalized or anything like that because it's just a different level a different type of animal cruelty um so yeah definitely be warned because it is kind of hard to read I would say it's it's less it's not as graphic as I think it could be so I think that's um it's helpful it's still really like it's it's uncomfortable it doesn't it doesn't feel good I wish it wasn't in the book honestly I I guess there's a I, I'm assuming there's a, a point. I hope there's more of a point than the point that's already there. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really like it. I wish it wasn't there, but I mean, what can I do? It's, that's, you know, people, people like to put animal cruelty in horror. It's just kind of like a thing. Just be warned. That is a big, big, um, like content warning. But yeah, unless something else happens in the next 80 pages involving animals, which I will update you, um, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I still think it's pretty, I, I still think it's pretty bad. So other than that, super enjoying it. It's very engaging and interesting and it's keeping me like going. I'm reading it really fast. I feel like I'm speeding through it um so that's good and I'm really enjoying it so far I hope I think I'm enjoying it <laughs> I think once the conclusion happens I'll have more of like a concrete like feeling and understanding about it but as of now I am enjoying it and liking it um I'll be interested to see where this is going because if it's anything like her other book this it's gonna have like a weird twisty ending um so We'll see but I will update you um in a bit probably when I finish it honestly I'm just gonna read the last 80 pages and then let you know my thoughts and then we'll pick what manga I'm gonna read but um right now I'm also taking pictures for Instagram and while I'm saying I am doing that um I'm actually having a lot of help from a little special guest who's helping me um my lovely partner Justin is actually taking pictures for me because He's a king, what can I say? He's helping me out because I have a lot of things to do. But haven't done any TikToks and I still need to eat. So got I got stuff to do. 
I don't know if the TikToks are going to get done today. I might do them today. I might have to do them tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but other than that, that's that. That's the update. So, yeah, I will, I'll talk to you when I'm done. Yeah. Hello friends, it's been a hot, 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 hot minute since I checked in. I believe the last time I saw you it was like f almost 5 o'clock and it is now like 11. Um, I've not been doing that much but also kinda did a lot. I ate food, I took a shower, I feel like you can tell. My bangs are a little crazy, kinda don't pay attention to them because honestly they're drying really weird right now and I'm gonna have to fix it later but it doesn't matter. Um, I ate, I took a shower, and I finished Sundial. I know, I finished it. Um, I have a lot of thoughts, and I'm going to try to voice my thoughts as eloquently and as not chaotically as possible. I know that sounds very hard to imagine because, let's face it, um, it's me we're talking about. I definitely don't think... I liked this as much as I liked The Last House on Needless Street. I I have a lot of thoughts, so let's let's think. Okay. If you've read The Last House on Needless Street, The Last House on Needless Street, oh my gosh, that title is a tongue twister. If you've read it, you know, or if you've heard people talk about it, it's a very confusing story. It's very mysterious. You never really know what's going on. Nothing makes sense. Everything's just kind of it's a jumble, right? You, you're you in the dark, really, the entire time. And then at the end, everything's revealed and it all makes sense. This one, it's still mysterious and it's still, I guess, I guess confusing is a, is, is a good way to say it. It's confusing. It's a little weird. It's a little strange. You don't know what's going on. But not as, like, not as much as the last house like this is a little bit more obvious like you can kind of see where it's going and I say that loosely because I'm I didn't fully know where it was going and I still think it's mysterious and confusing but it's not as crazy confusing as the last house like do, do you know what I mean there's a lot more vagueness in the last house where this there's a lot more concrete things happening and i use concrete loosely because it's still weird and it's still bizarre and you're still sitting there scratching your head like wait what is happening but it's not as in my opinion it's not the same level as the last house i do think some people would be able to guess certain things about this book um, I think the predictability of it could be higher than The Last House. Um, I didn't predict anything, <laughs> but that's not saying a lot because I also didn't predict anything in The Last House. So, like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think just certain people might be able to see where this book is going and what is happening. I think it could be a little bit more obvious to some people. It's giving you more, okay? There's a little bit more information, even though it's still weird and you know mind boggling and stuff it's still a little bit more to grasp onto than the last house there's more going on that you can kind of try to piece together it's like you can you can put more of a puzzle together with this one than you can the last house okay that's very confusing i know i'm sorry i told you i'm gonna try to do this as best as i can um i'm trying not to give anything away <laughs> again this loses points because of the animal cruelty like i said it is more like science-y, experimentation-y, dealing with the brain kind of thing. It's still animal cruelty. It's still very uncomfortable to read. It's still um, gross and like disturbing and it's still like uncomfortable. I do think this is a little bit easier to digest uh, because it's not overly graphic in some parts 
Um, again, that's debatable on who you are and what your level of like graphic ability is. But for me, it wasn't too graphic. There are some parts later on where I was just kind of like, ugh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't need to know this. I don't want to know this. Yes, I understand that the, the stuff is important to the story and it makes sense for the story and it is part of like a larger picture, but I don't know. It's, for me, it's a little, I just don't care for horror stories that rely so heavily on animal cruelty. Um, I just, it's not kind of my thing. I don't really like it. I don't really want it. It's not something I look for. So I think that's where this loses me a lot. I just don't love that aspect of it. Um, I will say the plot twists and like the twisty bits were really good. I was in, enjoying it. And the ending I actually did enjoy a lot. I liked I liked how it ended. I was kind of hoping it was going to end the way it did. Um, so, uh, well, parts of it. I didn't guess some of it. But the way it did end in a certain way, I, I did kind of want it to be that. I will say this is a lot more depressing and <laughs> sad and like just like dark, yes, but just kind of like heavy, you know, like it's a, it's a lot of like depressing stuff. Whereas in The Last House on Neela Street, the ending is a lot more hopeful. This this didn't give me that. <laughs> this was more like oh, this this is this is it. Nope, that okay, that's okay. You know? And I think a lot of people are going to like that. Cuz I know a lot of people don't like that hopeful heart pulling cutesy sweet side of horror not that that's really the last house on the industry it's not like cutesy and sweet but it is it is emotional and it's like hopeful and there's like a there's a there, there's a, a there's it's bittersweet but it's hopeful there's a, there's a silver lining to the ending you know what I mean this isn't that it's more <laughs> it's more on the bitter side <laughs> than the sweet side and it's just kind of like it's depressing. It's, this is the end. This is it. This is, this is how it's gonna go. This is the end, you know? Um, and I still enjoy that. I still like it. It's still enjoyable to me, but it's not as enjoyable as Last House on Needless Street. So overall, I do like it. I'm glad I went in blind and I didn't know much about it. I highly, highly, highly suggest going in blind and not knowing the plot really or like any spoilers or anything like that. Please go in blind. It's so much more satisfying. It's just like The Last House on the Street. Go in with no expectations, no thoughts, no feelings. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess you have thoughts and feelings, but no like preconceived notions or anything like that. Just go in and like hopefully just like let it consume you and let your mind just absorb it. I feel like you have to do that with Catriona Ward's writing. It just works way better. It's a much more enjoyable reading experience and not to know anything and just have fun and just like consume it blindly. It's just so much more enjoyable. This just didn't hit me as much as I think The Last House on Needless Street did and how much I wanted it to. So now I am going to move on to manga. It is like 11 o'clock at night but I'm not tired and uh, we're gonna probably stay up a bit because it's Saturday and yeah I want to get some manga in. So I think I'm gonna read Blood on the Tracks volume 7 and Blood on the Tracks volume 8 now and I'll probably get those done tonight and then I'll probably leave the other manga for tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll come back and surprise you all. But um, for now, that's it. So I'm going to go read some manga and I will update you on Blood on the Tracks and let you know what I'm thinking about this series, um, which I absolutely love. So I will see you in the next check-in. Bye! So it is one in the morning. I have been done reading Blood on the Tracks for the last like 
I don't know, like, hour, hour and a half or something like that. Um, but I was watching America's Next Top Model, and, um, let's just say I am now emotionally and mentally drained from this series. Like, the, the, this series is so hurtful. Like, I am in physical pain after reading this. Like, my heart hurts my brain hurts i feel like traumatized in the best way possible of course obviously but um this just ended on a cliffhanger <laughs> just ended on a cliffhanger okay um and volume nine is coming out in april i think like april 14th i literally just looked it up i think it's april 14th or something like that. Some I don't know. Don't ask me. It's one in the morning. I can't remember. Um, and then volume 10 is coming out in June. And then there are two more volumes after that, I believe. I believe there's 12. And then it'll be done, I think. I looked it up. So I think there's a total of 12. Um, I, like... Th <laughs> Look, I'm just saying if you want something really, really disturbing and heartbreaking at the same time, this is a perfect manga series. It is so effed up, but, like, Shuzo Oshimi is just so good. Like, his art's good, his stories are good, he's a genius, but also he scares me, and I'm very traumatized. Um... <laughs> Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm physically in pain from reading this. Like, I I'm, I just sat, I finished it. This was me. I finished it. I put them down and I was just like. And that's how I've been. I'm also very tired. But, like, I don't know how to function. Like, what am I supposed to do after reading these? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to go on? How am I supposed to live? What am I supposed to do? Because I don't know the answer. Um. Like. I don't have. I, my feelings are. Are so all over the place. They're, it's amazing. Don't get me wrong. They were fantastic. Beautiful. I gave them both five. Out of five stars. Because um, this whole series is just magnificent. And it's literally perfection. Um, but it's just so draining um and it's so like the gaslighting the abuse the trauma it's just like it's so much um yeah fantastic wonderful I understand why I put them off because this is why I knew I, I knew I would feel this way I knew I'd feel this way and I put it off um and now I have to wait only like a few weeks and then volume nine will be out and then I'll get to feel all this way over again <laughs> so okay that's it for tonight because it's well this morning I guess it's one I need to go to bed I'm gonna pass out um so tomorrow I will update you when I uh get up and start filming and doing all my junk and then um I'll probably read some more manga tomorrow so I will let you know I'll let you know my journey tomorrow but I'm gonna go to bed so I will see you in the morning hello friends so it's almost three in the afternoon on Sunday and I am ready to film a YouTube video for Monday um and yeah that's where I'm at today that's all I've really done is just um gotten ready done my makeup because it takes me forever so uh yeah I'm gonna film this video and then um I'm gonna try to film some TikToks I don't know how that's gonna go uh because I don't really have any ideas of what I want to do so um yeah we'll see uh, you might see clips of me filming TikToks, you might not, but whatever. And then after that, I'm going to read some more manga. And after I do all my junk and start to read the manga, I will let you guys know what I'm reading and all that jazz. So, yeah, just wanted a quick check-in. So, 
I'll see you in a little bit. Hello friends. So I am doing my check-in. I filmed my YouTube video. I filmed for about like two hours. Um, so please go watch my Monday video because that was a lot of effort and I haven't even edited it yet. So that's great. Um, my eyes honestly really hurt because I think I'm exhausted because I went to bed at four in the morning last night. Um, and my makeup looks really good though. Like honestly, I'm really feeling it. Like I feel like I look really cute. I feel like a little oily, but I'm oily so it doesn't really matter. So, um, I'm going to read some manga. Um, I'm going to read Orochi. I keep, see, I always do that. I put the R, like, I, I, I emphasize the R because I want to make it Spanish. I want to say Orochi, Orochi, and I don't think that's right. I really don't think that's right because it's Japanese. This will be my first manga by uh, this mangaka, so I am very excited. Uh, I think it looks really interesting. It kind of gives me kind of gives me Tomie vibes because it says a mysterious young woman slithers her way into the lives of unsuspecting people like the legendary multi-tailed serpent for which she is named Orochi. This is volume one. It's just came out actually and I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm very excited to look at some of the art. I did kind of glance through it and um yeah I'm, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna like the art. I hope the story is good um and I'm excited. I'm probably gonna read this and then I will check in and let you know what, like, my thoughts are. And then I'm going to start Erased. And that's what I'm going to end the day on because I have five volumes to get through. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, also, I'll be watching America's Next Top Model uh, while I read this. Uh, we're on season five. I think I told you we were on season four last time. We're on season five now. And this show, <sighs> there's so many issues with it, but it's addicting. So I'm going to continue to watch it. And, um... That's what we will be watching while I read my manga, so. I'm here with a reading update. I finished Orochi. So, like I said, this is my first manga by this mangaka, and I didn't really know what to expect. I'm gonna be honest, I think I kind of expected it to be Junji-esque, um, and I think that's just because I love Junji so freaking much that I, like, compare every, like, horror manga to Junji's, um, but I... I haven't read The Drifting Classroom or anything else um, by him. I'm trying to read uh, some of his other work, <clears throat> and I don't think I've ever heard of any of the other ones except for The Drifting Classroom. So I I haven't checked that out. But um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. This only has two stories in here. It's the first one is Sisters and the other one is Bones. I much preferred the second story, Bones, than the first, but it's very like, I was trying to explain this to my partner, but I feel like it's almost gothic feeling. It's very like understated. They're not super like in your face like Junji is with like the graphic images and like all the lines and like the, the little like page jumps, you know, when you're like, you know how he always sets up his little things and there's like all these build up like panels and then you turn the page and it's like boom in your face. I, I was waiting for that in this <laughs> because there are these little build up panels and then you turn the page and I'm waiting for something to like pop, pop. and they're not they're very like not in your face. Um, so honestly I think this would be a really good like starting manga for like someone who doesn't read a lot of like horror manga or doesn't know where to start I feel like this is actually a really good one it's very like understated very soft spooks I guess <laughs> I mean I didn't particularly find them like scary um <clears throat> they're interesting though they were they were good I didn't think they were bad um 
the the girl i like her she's very interesting she has like these abilities right like she she has abilities um but she seems really nice like i feel like she's trying to use them for good but she kind of ends up like getting involved in these messes um it kind of feels like that's so raven like that's a very weird example but i feel like raven always tries to use her like her psychic abilities to like help people but then she like kind of gets involved in these like really big messes i feel like that's kind of her she like wants to help people and she'll like do something that thinks she's helping and then, like she kind of helps but in reality the mess is already like started so then she just kind of like gets involved in other people's messes so she's not very like tomie-esque because tomie is very much like <laughs> self-centered and narcissistic and kind of evil because she's a succubus but i feel like she's not this she's like actually pretty nice and i feel like she actually cares about the people like i feel like her intentions are good they just don't turn out the way she wants them to i guess yeah but i mean it's it was good um i think this is the first like volume of like more coming out um they just haven't come out yet uh because I, I believe these are like new like new reprints of the original story so this is the first one so i'll have to wait for the second one and see if my opinion changes but so far very interesting very subtle very soft very like they, they feel similar to those like short story collections where it's like 10 tales of haunted houses like those kinds of things it feels like that but like in a manga form you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, they were, it was cute. It was cozy. It was nice. It was an easy read. I'm not like mad about it. I probably wouldn't pick it over Junji or like Shuzo Oshimi just because that's more my style. This is just like a little too understated for my liking. I want it to be a little bit more in my face. Um, but yeah, I mean, I liked it. It wasn't bad. It was enjoyable. But next, I'm starting Erased. I'm doing it. I'm gonna probably cry. Um, I say probably. I'm gonna cry. I'm fairly certain I'm gonna cry. So, um, there are five volumes. The first four are about this size, and then volume five is, like, literally, like, this size. <laughs> Other than that, I'm reading Erased. I'm eating these pretzel chips that are garlic parmesan, and they're pretty freaking good. And I'm watching America's Next Top Model still. So, that's the check-in. And I look oily. I forgot to mention that. I'm very oily. But, it's 8 o'clock. What do you expect? So, okay. I will check in in a little bit. Goodbye. <sighs> it's 11 o'clock. And I have finally finished Volume 1 of Erased. And, like, I'm not gonna say I cried like three times but I might have cried three times this series is so sad in like the saddest way possible like I don't even want to tell you what this is about if you haven't seen the anime or read it like just go do it like honestly just do it just just do it it's like really sad and dark but like heartwarming and cute and it's just all the things mixed together and I really, um, overestimated how many I was gonna read tonight because, um, I, for some reason, thought I was gonna read faster than I am. But also, this manga has, like, a lot of text on the pages. Like, I feel like there's, like, a bunch of text. Like, just, like, tons of text, like, just on the pages. So I feel like I'm reading a lot more than, like, I do with, say, like... Junji Ito or Shuzo Shimi. I feel like that's not as text heavy and this has like a lot of text. There are a few differences from the anime that I've noticed. They're very slight differences. There's nothing like anything, there's nothing too dramatic. It's just like little, little changes. But otherwise I feel like the anime follows it pretty closely, at least for volume one, like in that aspect. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep like my eye on that. Um, but otherwise I feel like I'm just re-watching the anime, which I've seen like three times. So I do know this pretty well, like the story. I'm very familiar with like what's happening and what's coming next. 
but um yeah it's interesting to read it still and i'm having a lot of fun i'm probably gonna go to bed soon because i'm very tired and it's sunday so that's my check-in uh i don't have anything else to say so i guess i will see you guys later <laughs> Hello friends, it is Monday. I know, crazy, right? Like I never, I never take vlogs past Saturday, but it is noon. Um, ugh, I hate Mondays, I hate Mondays, I hate Mondays, okay? Like I know that that's like almost a universal thing, but I literally hate Mondays. I hate having Justin home all weekend and then him being like, bye I gotta go to work <laughs> I'm like great cool can't wait to never see you all day um yeah so I have to edit today uh the video that I filmed yesterday which is gonna be an absolute nightmare because I have so much footage um so I can upload it today for you all um I need to start volume two of Erased um and hopefully finish the series tonight or else this vlog is gonna go into Tuesday um, but yeah, otherwise I'm just here, uh, Justin will call me for his lunch break in a little bit, like in like half an hour to an hour. I'm watching America's Do Next Top Model season six now, I'm starting season six, um, and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna read Erased. Um, I'll probably catch up on Instagram a little bit, and just do that kind of stuff and then I'll get ready to edit after I get off the phone so yeah that's my Monday so far um I need to drink some water because <clears throat> my voice sounds disgusting and I'm exhausted and I need to hydrate so I'm gonna do that and yeah I don't think I have anything else to say um right now I have a puppy in my lap, which is great, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. <laughs> oh, also, don't come for me for wearing this shirt again. Don't come for me, okay? It's clean, so. <laughs> um, it's fine, okay? I never thought I would film myself crying for YouTube, but... <laughs> This freaking manga is so sad. Oh my freaking goodness. Um, it also looks so dramatic because it was just one tear. <laughs> um, oh, this is such a sad manga. Like, legit. I, um, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm literally crying. Um, it's totally cool though. Like, um, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I haven't even been reading that long and I'm so sad already. Um, off to a great start, off to a great start. <laughs> off to a great start. I've seen this anime like three times and I know what happens and I'm crying. Like, that is so dumb. I know what happens, I, like, I finished volume two. This was the most emotional one so far, like, honestly, like, I feel like I've been crying this whole morning reading this. This has been the most emotional, and it makes sense when I compare it to where it is in the anime, like, where they line up. Um, this was probably the part where I was the most emotional in the anime as well, so it makes the most sense, but, like, I have been so teary. I, like, I'm on the verge of, like, sobbing every page. I am just so emotional. Oh my god. I'm actually surprised at how closely the anime is following the manga so far. It's really, really close to each other, which I'm really, really, really happy about. Um, but it's about two in the afternoon now, and I talked to Justin on his lunch break, and I finished volume two, and now I need to get a snack and edit, because it's gonna take me probably, like, four hours, five hours to edit and upload this YouTube video. So yeah, fun times. Can't 
wait. seven o'clock and I finally finished and uploaded my video for today. If you hear squeaking, that's my dog playing with her dog toy. But my video is finally uploaded. I spent from 2 p.m. until like 6 30 ish editing and uploading and making a thumbnail and all that crap. So uh, I'm literally so freaking tired. I'm so tired. I hate editing. It's the worst part about YouTube for me. I know a lot of people like editing, but it's not my favorite thing. It's literally my least favorite thing. So now I'm going to start volume three. I'm so excited and sad and all the stuff. I, I'm gonna try to get everything done tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because um, Justin's home from work and we like to spend like our nights together um, since he works all day. So um, he's going, we're going to um, hang out and watch two episodes of Attack on Titan because we're currently watching Attack on Titan <laughs> and we're watching two episodes a night. Um, so that way we'll be caught up for like when it ends um so we're about to watch two episodes of attack on titan um and just chill and then after that i'll probably keep reading and he wants to read tonight too so we'll probably do that so i will update you if i finish or if something happens or whatever so So we just got done watching our two episodes of Attack on Titan and I finished volume three. Um, this by far is my absolute favorite volume. I mean, I have four and then the fifth volume to get through, but I think this is going to be my favorite so far. Like this takes the cake right now. Also, this is the one that has the most uh, differences between like anime and manga um, they left a, a few things out and, like, changed a few things in the anime that I'm kind of sad about. There's one in particular I can't talk about, like, in detail because it's spoilery, but I wish that they had included it in the anime because when I saw it in the manga, I was like, it brought tears to my eyes. I cried so much for, while reading this. Um, I've literally been crying all day long. Like, I can't handle this. This freaking manga is like ripping my heart into a million pieces this is my favorite so far i'm i'm really really excited i'm also surprised that th like what's happening in this volume is what's happening because four is just as chunky right like just as chunky and i feel like we don't have that much left so i'm interested to see what the anime left out or whatever or what's different because this just feels this feels like a lot for what's left. I just can't believe this is that big because I feel like we have so little to get through. So I do not know what's gonna be different in this. I'm very nervous. Hello friends. So it's actually Tuesday afternoon. It's like 2 p.m. and I haven't filmed anything since last night. Um, I was gonna update you guys after I finished Erased, but it was pretty late. It was like 12.30 and Justin has to work obviously so I wanted to get in bed and like relax and stuff so he wouldn't stay up too late so I just decided that I would like fill you guys in today or tomorrow but like today Tuesday and so uh yeah um let's talk about Erased so let's talk about volume four real quick I know I said the volume three was like the most different so far in terms of the anime but this is by far the most different um the endings are completely different <laughs> like so so different and actually i much preferred 
this ending to the anime's ending. Now, I'm not saying that the anime's ending is bad. I actually really enjoyed the ending to the anime when I watched it. However, now that I have read the manga, I completely understand what people are saying. The anime ending kind of comes off anticlimactic compared to what occurs in volume four. Now, I still really appreciate the ending in the anime. It's just a lot more condensed and like not as intense. So like this whole series, me reading it, has been pretty close to the anime because I've seen the anime before I read the manga. And so the the whole time I've been reading this, I've been like, wow, this is pretty, they're pretty similar, pretty close. And then volume four happens and this has the most uh, differences. And I'm kind of sad because I think the anime could have included them. I don't know why they didn't do it. But also, the whole time I've been reading this manga, I knew what was going to occur, right? I'm, I'm familiar with the plot. So I've just been like, okay, but I'm still emotional. I'm still like crying. I'm still like super invested. But this, this was so intense because I didn't know what was happening. I had never seen this ending before. So I was actually on the edge of my freaking sea. I was literally like, oh my god. Oh my god, something's gonna- I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening because it was just not- familiar I didn't know what was going to happen so I kind of wish that they had included this ending in the anime because I feel like it was super intense and way more intense than the ending in the anime but you know I get it I get it I get it but uh yeah freaking phenomenal it was a it was a great ending um I mentioned this fifth volume so basically what this is um I can't go into too much detail because I don't want to give parts of the story away because this if I tell you too much about this manga it's kind of spoilery but these are little like I guess like short stories or like little flashbacks of the other characters and like events that occurred during certain times in the manga that we don't get to see in the like four volumes so this was really cute it was it was it was it was enjoyable I liked it a lot um but you don't need to read this if you don't want to it's not like gonna change the manga or anything like that but um yeah overall this is literally my favorite manga I've ever read like I I'm gonna tell you straight up every volume is a five out of five um even though I have seen the anime so many times reading this manga for the first time was just so it was like reliving that heartbreak I initially had the first time I watched it it was like reliving that and like re-experiencing it and this manga just has everything it has dark disturbing aspects it has mystery it has like um love and friendship and growth and hopefulness and there's just so many things in this story it, it has everything that i look for and i would say it's a darker um manga but not I mean, it's not like blood on the tracks or <laughs> like um, Genji Ito Dark or <laughs> The Flowers of Evil. It's not like that. This is more of like a mystery crime thriller, um, but it just has all the elements like the mystery, the suspense, the 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 clues, the build up, the intensity, the love, the friendship. The, I just it has everything I look for. And honestly, this this manga erased has taken my top manga spot um it is absolutely by far my favorite manga ever uh I will give it that award right now I knew it was going to um it's absolutely perfect in my opinion I don't think there's anything wrong <laughs> like I don't have anything that I dislike about it um it's it's just perfect in my opinion it's a 10 out of 10 I absolutely uh freaking love this manga it is wonderful and I'm so glad I read it it's just heartbreaking and it's just I just love it everything about it it's perfect I highly recommend uh checking it out and reading it or if you don't want to read it because you're not like interested in manga I highly recommend checking out the anime it's it's really good I actually think it does follow the manga pretty closely so I highly recommend checking out the anime if you've read the manga I say check out the anime I think you'll probably be disappointed because of the ending and like the differences but I think it's still worth checking out so yeah, um, I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. I literally, I, 
I don't have any words. It's literally perfection. I just, I love it so, so much. But yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was fun. I know it's a little bit different than my usual vlogs. I did a little bit different kind of things and I was doing more and it went on a little bit longer. But I hope you liked it. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what kind of vlogs you want to see in the future. And that's it. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.